Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in again to this channel and today I just want to show you up how you can fix your bathroom with the contact paper from Dollar Tree. As you could see these pictures, this bathroom was a hideous, hideous place in the house. These images are from the first day or not exactly the first day, but when we just moved in. Uh, anyways, a um, few years ago, I found this uh, kind of uh, backsplash paper on Dollar Tree and it was one of my favorites just because it didn't have anything else going on. As uh, you can see, Dollar General, I mean, sorry, Dollar Tree sell a lot of these uh, backsplash papers, but they have a lot going on, like a flowers or uh, to mix tiles, tiles, something like that. So this one was the only one at that time that it was kind of uh, just one, um, the same thing going on. Anyways, so I like it and what I did was paint my walls on gray as you could see right here. And then I just decided to start applying this uh, sticker into my um, tile just because I don't like this kind of white tile i love white tile but not this one not the square one so that's what i decided to change it for a look and since i'm renting i thought this one was a better idea so at first i didn't know if this uh kind of um paper it it's going to last but you know what this has been four years four years that this paper has been on my walls in guess what it has been like the same day i installed it it's nothing has uh start to peeling off and um, even though my bathroom it's so small it doesn't have a window and uh, it keeps a lot of humidity humidity <laughs> when we take showers so uh yeah even with all of that humidity uh, going on this still uh this a stick paper or backsplash paper whatever you want to call it it's still on my walls and it hasn't happened anything so i just want to show you that um this uh wall that i decided to do it it's a little bit crook because uh probably the person who installed this tile uh isn't really qualified <laughs> uh it did a few mistakes here and there so this uh wall is really really crook so right here I just want to try to fix my mistakes because when I apply the paper uh, since the wall is, is a little bit crooked uh, it shows a few piece over there of the white tile underneath so right now I'm just uh, of the um, remainings of the sticker that I have left over I'm trying to match one and since i find it i just cut it and with a little bit of gra uh, the, the gray line that it's supposed to be the grouting so and then i just apply it on the top of the other one and the problem is fixed right now with my cutter i'm just um taking that part off because it was a little bit um, longer than the one that is in the four and this one I just cut a little bit of the gray piece to try to fix that small um, white line over there. Uh, my husband says it was okay, he didn't see, I mean you couldn't see from far away but I, I didn't want to leave it like that so I did fix it. And right now I'm just showing you that all this line I'm pointing at, I'm just gonna fix it by cutting all the um, gray line all around my last mat and then i'm just applying to uh here to the wall just to finish it up uh, i would love to uh finish all the walls inside the bathtub too but unfortunately i did not brought um enough pieces uh first time i brought eight and then i knew that i needed more so i brought ten but even though with those 10, um, I brought 
it wasn't enough for me to finish my whole bathtub so that's what I had to left it white but here is the final product um, this uh, corner I just redid it for you just uh, because uh, when I did my bathroom uh, I wasn't planning on having a YouTube channel so I didn't film any process so this uh, corner I just took the paper off and redid it just to make the video and so right here I'm showing you that I did all the uh, walls that had tile in my bathtub just because I I hate the white tile like I said and today I just find that Dollar Tree has a white uh, subtitle subway tile I think is the name is this one right here I'm showing you the picture and I got really really tempted to buy a case of that uh, white tile and change it all of it but you know what I I don't want to suffer uh, that same um, amount of time uh, changing all this wall sticker so that's what i say no i i'm just gonna leave this one um i'm doing it um another video on how i revamped my bathroom and i did it a uh, farm style now that's why you can see a little bit of a uh, wall right there and the uh, the wall it's white now I didn't want to spoil all of it that's why I'm just filming this um, part of the bathroom just because all my walls are finished and I didn't want to spoil on this um, video the uh, revamp I did on my bathroom and I just I'm showing you right here how my bathroom has hold the sticker for uh, almost four years and hasn't been peeled or anything it's it's still great as the same day as I applied and like I said before it's a lot of humidity going on in this bathroom and the wallpaper or backsplash paper is still good so the this picture is uh, for four years ago when I finished my bathroom and unfortunately is the only one I have because I wasn't planning on having a YouTube channel but anyways like I said I did a remodel in the that video it's gonna be maybe this Friday so please keep tuned in this channel subscribe give me a like and if you want to come back to see the other video so I'll see you here bye